This is a promise from me to you. I will take you down to the seawall. And we will have a lovely time walking along the water. I owe you all a romantic walk along the seawall. That's my promise. <laughs> Caleb and I just finished watching Freaks and Geeks on Netflix. Wow, it's a good show. I'm completely baffled as to why it got cancelled. Um, no idea. It's going to be one of those weird mysteries of television. But if you haven't checked it out, I highly advise you do. Um, 1999, Linda Cardellini, whose hair I'm, I think I'm starting to channel. Seth Rogen, what's his name? James Franco. Um, what the hell is that guy's name? The dude, the guy, the, ah. Jason Siegel, very clever, very impressive acting, smart, really smart writing, and um, just a really, really great show. Only one season of it. One of those weird, uh, short-lived TV things, but definitely check it out. Christy. <laughs> Some happy news from today. For my tulip friend. Open it up. How beautiful. I'm so excited. The daffodils are just about ready to pop. Very exciting. And Hyacinth over here just enjoying being bundled up. That's fine with me. <laughs> My friends are ridiculous. I just got a series of messages from my friend Lisa. She and I did Zumba a couple weeks ago. She's, <laughs> she sends me a link and she's like, Jenny, can you dance like this? And I'm like, what the hell is the, what's, what's the link? And then she's got like this like cringing face and it says, can you do that? And I click on the link and it's friggin' Shakira, hips don't lie. <laughs> and I'm like, uh... Uh, and so, so I responded to her and said, I, I like to pretend that I can. Um, <laughs> I, I, I've never learned belly dancing. I certainly don't know, or, you know, that kind of dancing. I've never learned how to do that. Um, so I don't think so, but I, you know, I pretend I can. Oh, Lisa. <laughs> Go figure. Turns out instead of crafting, I'm into organizing my costume bin and stuff. It's all good stuff. Stuff I need to do. So, uh, that's what's happening. <laughs> Woo. Action stations, as my granddad would say. This is turning into a proper sorting out night. And I am on my way, just heading over to the supermarket to get some clear plastic bags. I need some clear bags. That's what I'm going to put all my costumes in so I know what's in them and I can label them. Um, that's what's up. But do I have my everything with me? Yes. Um, you're in the sunlight, in the light right there. Blow out the candle so we don't cause any fires. Um, that light is going to stay on. Sometimes I like to leave a light on if I know I'm not going to be out very long. It's kind of like a ghost light. As someone who lives alone, you kind of get a little bit weird sometimes about um, leaving your apartment alone. I mean, not that I'm alone right now. There's always someone here guarding and protecting my apartment. Yeah, <laughs> this terrifying angle. <gasps> anyway, um, yeah, heading out. See you in a bit. Walking through an alley like this in the dark always makes me think of being in like a, makes me feel like I'm in a, 90s techno pop music video in a similar way. 
being in the supermarket makes me feel like Michael Bublé is going to jump out singing any moment. The Lunar New Year. Say Happy New Year, girls. Go hey, by Choi. Sing a quiet love. Say it one more time. Say it one more time. Korean, we have Kanto. Kanto and then Kanto. And Mandarin. Wow. Yeah. Say Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Jok Mong Nam Mai. Wow. Um, cool kind of stuff happening today. My friend Lisa will be coming over this afternoon. You probably met her uh, a few videos ago. She's coming over and I'm going to give her a little bit of a sort of dance lesson. Um, often people have asked me um, if I can teach them how to dance. Um, I guess just the way I like shake my hips and shimmy around and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't really learn. I just kind of, that's just how I dance. Um, but it does come in handy for like burlesque style um, dancing and, and other kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm going to give her a little mini lesson here and we're going to have tea. Once again, I find myself walking through a dark alley at nighttime. I'm feeling very much like I'm in some 90s electronica. <laughs> I just need some like... <laughs> yeah, it's dinner time, I guess. This is always the worst part of the day, is trying to like... make that decision of like, what am I gonna eat? And then put something together, and then eat it. And then like... <sighs> I wish there was just... I, I kinda wish that I was like a pet Every day my owner puts down the food and I will eat the food and I'm happy to eat the food and then like once in a while I'll have a treat or something. I kind of wish my life was like that. I guess I could eat like the same thing day after day but I don't think, I don't know if humans are supposed to do that. I'm not sure that's a healthy thing for human life and thriving. Good morning! Happy Tuesday. It's uh, It's my day off today. And as you can probably see, because I'm lit up so well, it is gorgeous and sunny out. Check this out. Like, look at that sunshine, that blue sky, gorgeous. My tulips have <laughs> decided they don't want to be tulips anymore. Um, opened out the sea plants, all enjoying it, soaking it all in. Amazing. I'm going to drop off some things over at JQ Clothing, uh, Jean Queen, because I have some stuff, some different toiletries and things that I want to uh, donate, and that'll be good times. Come along. at its prettiest. This is Trout Lake. This was the first winter in a very long time that the ice, or that the lake froze enough to be solid ice and people were able to skate on it. Which is kind of amazing. This is a park where a lot of people bring their dogs and small children to walk. <laughs> And so in the summertime, there's always so many dogs around and little kids running around and people jogging. It's a really, really nice bit of well, greenery in you know, the east side of a very metropolitan city. But whenever I'm here, I'm always thinking what my life might be like if I had like a husband and a child and a house a dog. You know, the kind of life that I guess my parents would have had. I guess we're thinking a lot about, I don't know, adult life and uh, being a grown up and what that means nowadays versus what it used to mean. So 
Surprise beach. Surprise. I just finished my walk around Trout Lake there and now I'm back home. I went and brought those things to JQ. Uh, anyone who's uh, watching this who lives in Vancouver, um, they basically accept anything there, um, like toiletries. Like they, what they do there is they, hang on, let me sit down. Um, uh, they will collect um, toiletries, like anything from your bathroom or your cosmetics and stuff, anything but clothing and shoes and that kind of thing. The ladies at, um, at JQ Clothing, it's this big pink building on Commercial Drive, and they collect items and will bring them to different um, women's shelters, um, downtown east side women's shelters. There's a hell of a lot of poverty and homelessness in Vancouver, um, as in a lot of very large cities. And um, they could do with some help. And it's a really easy way for more privileged individuals to find homes for things that they are, they may be lightly used, um, or just things that they don't want to own anymore, things like that. So, uh, yeah, do check it out and drop some things off um, if you're ever in the area or if you're ever cleaning out your cabinets, that kind of thing. Yeah. Duh, I should have known this would happen that my crush's video about boys of my past would actually be seen by boys in my past. Uh, I just got a message from my first proper boyfriend saying that he watched the video and he liked it and he told me to keep it up and that's cool and I'm like, awesome, thank you for watching it. But like, <laughs> I was not expecting that. <sighs> Hey, Adrian. <laughs>